Good morning, ESM. What's up? So, as you know, today is Ugly Sweater Day, and um, I went to put on my ugly sweater this morning, and I put my arm through the sleeve, and this magic marker, like, pen thing dropped out. Um, so we're going to test it out throughout the show and see if it really works. So we'll start it off, and we'll go uh, news. Due to the rising number of COVID cases, the West Genesee School District has had a shortage of staff members and decided to make tomorrow their last in-person day. In day. The students will be learning remotely until December 23rd, and hybrid and in-person students will return to the building January 4th. For students who attend outside of school programs, including BOCES, will still be transported to them from the high school as long as the programs stay open. In other news, at about 5.30 yesterday, California's 55 members of the Electoral College cast their ballots, pushing Biden and Harris over the 270 mark, formalizing their win in November 3rd's election. In the end, Biden and Harris ended up receiving 306 votes and Trump received 232. The next step in the process will occur on January 6, 2021, in a special joint session of Congress. In response to the Electoral College, Biden stated, we the people voted, faith in our institutions held. The integrity of our elections remain intact, and so now it is time to turn the page to unite and to heal. Also quoting President George H.W. Bush, Pennsylvania Secretary of State Kathy Bukvar stated, the people have spoken and we respect the majesty of the democratic system. We would now like to request you to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, all right, so that worked. Uh, what else can we try? Oh, I got one. Fantastic hair. Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't need magic for that one. Um, well, what else can we try? Oh, how about weather? Hey, hey ESM, today we will have some sun clouds as you can see through me and it's going to be a really cold day with a high of 27 and a cold low of 13 degrees. But Wednesday, it's still going to have similar temperatures, or oh, right here. <laughs> Wednesday we'll have similar temperatures as, as Tuesday and we'll have lots of clouds. Thursday we'll have some early AM snow showers with similar temperatures to Wednesday. Friday we'll be having the same temperature as the whole week with some sun and clouds. And Saturday we'll be staying around the 30s all day with some breezes and clouds. Sunday is a chance of snow and rain while staying around sun Saturday's temperature. Monday will be warmer with breezes and clouds. And I'm your half see-through man, Grayson, with your weather. Whoa, that worked pretty well. I mean, it even made him invisible. I didn't think that was uh, able to happen. Um, I wonder if this would work to make the Steelers win the Super Bowl. That'd be pretty cool. I'll have to try that some other time, though. Uh, for now, let's do sports with Luke. Syracuse basketball plays against Northeastern tomorrow. Uh, in NFL news, the, uh, the Baltimore Ravens beat the Cleveland Browns 47-42. Lamar Jackson 
left the game in the fourth quarter, but came back to lead the game-winning drive for the Ravens. He had a total of 286 y 86 yards and three total, touch or three total touchdowns. Browns quarterback Baker Mayfield also threw for 343 yards and had three total touchdowns as well. And I'm Luke with your sports. So, unfortunately, that didn't go as planned because uh, when you guys weren't looking when the sports intro was playing, I used the magic marker to delete the teleprompter so Luke couldn't see what he was talking about on sports. But I guess he, I've trained him too well. He just, uh, he just already knew what he was doing. Um, kind of defeats the whole purpose. Now I, I don't, I don't know. Um, well, uh, do I get to keep this thing? Um, anyways, uh, disappear and end the show.